The last thing that I want to implement as part of this app is to have the coins change their position every five seconds or so. So remember, we already have a timer clock established with this app. Click on the timer clock and drag out the when timer clock dot timer event handler block. I want to loop through all the golden coins and reset their positions. So go to the control block and find the for each item in list loop again. I'm going to loop through all the elements inside of the coin list. Scrolling down to the bottom here, I can get any image sprite. So click on that and find the call image sprite.move to for component. I'm going to call that for that particular component item, which means that this is going to correspond to a particular coin inside of my list. And I want to move it to an X and Y position that's essentially a random number. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more space here and scroll up and find that math block. I'm going to find a random number and put that in for the X coordinate. Now I don't want a random number between 1 and 100. I want a random number between 0 and the width of that canvas. So let's throw away these numbers to begin with. I can put in 0 to begin with, I suppose. And then the way to get the width of the canvas is just to click on the canvas and go ahead and scroll down way to the bottom here and get the canvas.width. Now this is pretty close, but it's not quite exactly what I want. Because the canvas width will give me a number um, that is the number of pixels wide, but the upper left hand corner of these particular image sprites is what's being used for the position. So it will be possible for, say, the pirate ship to be off on this side if I just use the width of the canvas, since the upper left hand corner is still going to be on the canvas. So it's not just the canvas width that I want here, but I want a little bit less than the canvas width. So I'm going to subtract, in this case, the width of that image sprite. Subtract, again, at the very bottom here, I can get any image sprite's width if I scroll all the way down here. So I can get the image sprite, image sprite width of that particular component of this item. So this gets me the width of the canvas minus a little bit of that item, the width of that item, which will give me an appropriate number that will not put the coin off the screen when the timer is reset. So I basically want the same thing, copy and pasting there for the Y component, except for instead of the width, I'll take the height. Okay, with that, let's take a look at the app. Great. And so you can see now I can fling the pirate ship in any direction I want to, every five seconds the coins change position. And eventually, if I get all the coins, I get the reset button and they all appear again. So that's it. That's the Get the Gold app. Of course, at this point in time, you should be able to add a few more modifications. You could add the score. You could, instead of having the coins change randomly every five seconds, you could have the coins move in different directions. So go ahead and have fun customizing the Get the Gold app.